The very same day that the Congresswoman was in Quebec, nine of the candidates who want to challenge her in the 2018 midterm elections took to the stage at Clinton Community College for a candidates forum. Seven Democrats, a Republican, and an Independent are already in the race, and the field could grow even more in the coming weeks. For many voters, it was their first chance to hear from the candidates on why they're running. Moderator Pat Bradley from WAMC Public Radio also asked them to weigh in on some specific questions, including the storage of empty rail cars in the Adirondack wilderness, whether Lake Placid should bid on hosting a third Winter Olympics, and whether they back the long-proposed rooftop highway across the northern tier. The first thing I did when I considered running for Congress was to meet with the proponents of the rooftop highway because it's so crucial to people in our community. If it looks like it's simply just going to look at car transportation, I'm a little bit more leery about it. I'm a little <laughs> less um, enthusiastic about it. We must, if we're serious about investing in the local economy, create access and transportation availability in these areas. If you want to talk about what this is going to cost, go down to Fort Drum and look at what they call the 781 extension. It was sold as a $4 million project that became a $40 million project that became almost a $200 million project for four miles. Now what do you think that highway is going to cost us if they try and do it? Whenever we spend a billion dollars in infrastructure, that equates to about 18,000 good jobs. So it can be a very good thing. And I think this is one project that can be very good. I've studied several iterations, like everybody else has, of the rooftop highway. In its current form, it's pretty darn good. I mean, what's it about? It's all about job creation in that region, because they're, they're hurting. I think we need to invest in infrastructure, but I'm not so sure about these big uh, new infrastructure projects. If you look at these big new projects, you have to care uh, carefully study them and see if the demand is there. I would support the rooftop highway. I said it earlier. It needs to be done in an environmentally conscious fashion. It will allow the businesses to expand access to new markets, and that's what economic development is all about. You can watch the entire two-hour forum on our website at mountainlake.org.